everyone. Welcome to the Fulton County Library System. My name is Ebony Andrews. I'm the library associate with the Buckhead Library and I'm currently with Kirkwood Library doing the renovation process. The craft that we're going to create today is the coffee filter butterfly. If you were able to join us two weeks ago, uh, we introduced the chromatography process to you. Today, that chromatography process will be very important with creating the craft that we're doing today. So just to tell you a little bit about chromatography, chromatography is the separation of a mixture by passing it in solution or suspension or as a vapor through a medium in which the components move at different rates. So to use that chromatography process today, we are wanting to achieve this look. These are the, com the coffee filter butterflies. Aren't they cool? So let's get started. Supplies that you will need for creating your butterfly today. Washable markers, those are easy because they don't create a big mess. Two coffee filters, make sure these coffee filters stay together throughout the coloring process. Um, pipe cleaner, a substitution if you don't have pipe cleaners will be the twist tie that comes on the bread loaves. Um, I think that would be a, a good substitute for that. And here we have a little glass of water and a tasting spoon. You can use a small measuring spoon. Um, that's just all that I had available at home at the time. So here you want to go ahead and flatten out your coffee filters as much as possible. Um, remember that it's important to keep your coffee filters together um, until they are dry at the end of this. Here I'm picking out my colors. Um, I've chosen four colors. You can choose however many colors you'd like. Um, I would just keep in mind that you want to leave some white spaces on your design here, uh, just to make sure that the colors aren't blending in together too much. So here I am just um, drawing a X, a big X on the coffee filters. And I just want to encourage you guys to be creative as possible. You can pretty much do whatever drawing you like. Alright, I'm almost finished with my design here. So next step would be to put the water on the coffee filter. The most important thing with this water is you don't want to over um, put water on it. You want to make sure that it is just, just enough because it's going to have to dry. So as you can see, I am just using just a little bit, a little sprinkle amount of water and making sure those colors are, are extracting out. So don't use too much water. Thank you. 
I think even in this process here, it looks so cool seeing the colors just kind of mesh together. All right, we're almost done. So next step will be the dry time. I dried mine for, mine for 30 minutes in front of a fan. So you have that choice or you can let it sit outside if it's sunny outside. And here you see the finished product after it's dried. Um, you, like I said, you can let this sit outside in the sun. It'll be about maybe an hour or so before it dries, but the fan allowed it to dry really fast. Here I am doing the folding process. So you're just pretty much taking the coffee filter and folding it back and forth, kind of like accordion style, if, if that makes sense. And you're gonna do that for both coffee filters. Alright, so now we're finishing up on the last strip and we want to now put those strips on top of each other and wrap our pipe cleaner or twist tie or whatever you have and close them together. You want to kind of make that pipe cleaner into a V shape and then go ahead and twist together while you're holding the strips together. Twist, twist, twist. Keep going until you feel like it's secure on the, the coffee filters. I've grabbed some scissors to cut the the antennas down here. They were a little bit too long, so. And we're gonna go ahead and bend them into little spirals, spiral shapes. Okay, and the next step would be to just separate the butterfly wings here. And as you can see, those beautiful colors, it makes a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. This allows you to get a, get a kind of a, a feel of how you want your butterfly to look. So this is an important process here. All right, and I'm almost done. This is your coffee filter butterfly. Doesn't it look amazing? If you guys would like, please take pictures with your butterfly coffee filters. Um, you can message them to us um, or you can put it in this post. Um, we would love to see what your, your coffee filter butterfly looks like. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please join us next Wednesday for craft time at 2 p.m.